Okay, Paul Katroff with 423buyland.com. I know what you're thinking. Those are great sunglasses. Well, they are. 350 bucks, and they're, no, I paid 10 bucks for them. I'm frugal. Anyway, Paul Katroff, here I am in Lake Livingston Village. I'm getting ready to show you another property that we have for sale. And where I'm located right now is on the main drag, and it's very important to me. You see the drive up. We disclose everything before you come in to look at a property. This is a real nice street with two crappy properties that I deem. For the most part, it won't be a problem. A little bit of immunity, a little thick skin. You wave at the neighbor. It, it is what it is if you want uh, something that you can put an RV lot. But we're gonna show you, so here I am, check this out. Right, here's the main road. This goes up and around and you got the entrance right about there. So if you could follow my thumb. Now, right here is Naughty Pine. Let's go ahead and turn down Naughty Pine. Nice street. You can see it's not a cookie cutter subdivision. Real nice. You're an RVer, kind of the place to go to. What are they going to be working on the roads? They've done the main road, so they. They're going to be working on the off-roads and filling up potholes shortly. Really pretty drive, I have to tell you. We're almost there. Alright. Crappy property number one. Crappy property number one. It's like, really, dude, clean up your yard. Okay? And this one is not that bad. And we're right next door to this little house. That's not bad. There's just one crappy property. Anyway, there is the property. Look at this property. It's a beautiful piece of ground that we have right here. And look at the neighbor. Spotlessly clean and immaculate. All right, let's show you this. Unfortunately, we uh, just lost camera action. That's okay. If you're watching this video, the, the key things I want to impress upon you is number one, we can help you get it done. Number two, uh, you don't have to do it now. And number three, we've got, we, we bet the neighbors and we show you the street. You know, look guys, it's just a bunch of trees. So I'm going to grab the camera and number four, we're Republicans. <laughs> Anyway, if you get that out of the way, uh, you voted for Biden, don't bother. I'm paying five bucks a gallon for gas, and I'm tired of it, idiots. Anyway, uh, let me have this camera. I want to show the people everything that we have here. Okay, here's the street. Now, people normally don't like their properties, you know, exploited. So I, I, I'm not going to show too much. These people are sleeping, okay? I show you everything. Why? Because uh, I think the people out there understand there's no perfect situation, really, ever. It's all a matter of what you can deal with, what you can work with, okay? So this is a real quiet neighborhood. I can't hear nothing. I'm not hearing any dogs. Uh, it's not Sunday, Saturday, and it is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and you hear nothing. Now, yard is not so great. I have seen much worse, folks. Beautiful drainage. That is huge. Because when you get properties with a nice drainage ditch in front and you see water, what that means is the water is coming off the lot into the drainage ditch and flowing down. What you don't want is a dry <laughs> drainage ditch with all the water on top of the lot. Um, right next to the property is lot is uh, number 302 and they got a cute little cabin and we got a big wonderful pothole in the road but I'm hoping that they're gonna fix it and I'm gonna show you this is this is a winner right here but you know this is fine to go around when, but they just got done with the main road so they should be coming back that's a part of a nasty looking pothole Okay, to get onto this property now. 
people could be sleeping. That's what's so great about this area. It's quiet. Right, guys? It's quiet. And I'm not going to make too much, too much noise, if you don't mind. So here is a tentative lot marker. Give me a margin of error of five feet. Could be, could be two or three feet this way, two or three feet that way, two or three feet that way. This is an approximation based on a meter wheel and a satellite app. I'm usually good within three feet of my mark. If you're going to put up a fence, up, you're going to have to put up a survey. But if not, you don't have to worry. You can put your unit through there. You'll be on the property. Okay. Now we got our terrific sign. And uh, this is what our sign looks like. It's pretty simple. 423 Bylands, our website. Okay. Now let's go down, start with the far corner here. What a terrific property, Steve. It's just great. Just, just beautiful, beautiful. This is what everybody wants. So as we go down, let's go check this out. Now, rule of thumb, guys, rule of thumb. If I can walk through a property, the clearing is not going to be bad at all. I go through some properties where I can't walk through. It's like a jungle. Texas is crazy when it comes to the overgrowth. And look at this. Wait a second. I'm walking right through it. Guys, look. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm walking right through it. I got to tell you, this ain't nothing. All right, watch this. Watch how I assess it. Okay. Here's how I assess it. This looks like it was cleared at one time. So you're looking at... Leave this tree. Never cut down the big trees. This is just underbrush. You could put a unit right here and check this out. You go right through here. I can cut all of this in a day. I, I can cut all of this in a day. I can back my unit here if I had to. Now, taking down one tree is not a big deal either. You see the tree where my sign is located right there? Okay. The survey stake is going to be right about there. So if I wanted to go more to the left, I wouldn't need to take that tree down. As a matter of fact, I would go here. Wow, there's even more space between that tree and that corner marker. So, I, wow, I could do this in a day, guys, in a day. Now watch as I turn around. Okay. All right. One good-sized tree needs to come down, in my opinion. Anyway, you know, woods are woods, and that's what it's all about. Paul Catchwell, 423buyland.com. This lot is for sale at $12,000 cash. Uh, the POA fees are only 25 bucks a month. They normally have trash pickup, and they're trying to get the POA going. There are brand new board members and what have you. So be patient. The 25 bucks a month is so cheap to have trash pickup and what have you. But they're going to get it going down. Uh, we have new new structured subdivision. So, and by the way, no crime that I know of. So, a real safe retirement community. And I'm going to leave you with that. Can't put it any better, guys. Good luck on everything you do. Paul Castro, 43 Byland. Take care.